Today's sunshine note is titled, My Wife the Food Greed. Saul has slain his thousands and David his tens of thousands. Saul was very angry. They have credited David with tens of thousands, he thought, but me with only thousands. What more can he get but the kingdom? 1 Samuel 18, 7 and 8 It was one of those lovely times that I came home to the scent of something amazing. This particular evening, it was the rich, spicy smell of homemade enchiladas baking in the oven. And then I saw my wife busily whipping up a bowl of fresh guacamole. Ah, avocados. I was making a dive at the bowl with the tortilla chip when my hand was playfully slapped. So I retreated while the enchiladas finished their tedious cooking. My wife is passionate about food, both eating and making it, so I've been a bit spoiled. However, a unique quality has joined her love of cooking and eating, greed. When everything was ready, I scooped a huge pile of guacamole onto my plate. I noticed my wife glancing sideways at me, but didn't think much of it. I added salad, enchiladas, salsa, and sour cream, and took another stab at the guacamole, only to be slapped again. I looked up and saw a greedy beast holding a butter knife. You've already had too much. This side is yours, and this is mine. My wife drew an uneven line through the guacamole with a knife, giving herself the far more generous portion to equal out the too much I'd already given myself. That was the night I realized I had married not only a wonderful cook, but also a strange creature that greedily watched how much food was being taken from her. King Saul had a similar problem. By this time, Saul and David had teamed up in many battles and their fame had spread throughout the kingdom. The people rejoiced when they came home victorious, singing that Saul had slain his thousands, but David his ten thousands. This ate into Saul's pride. Soon it became jealousy and finally it festered into an open hatred of his faithful servant. Saul began plotting to kill him, but nothing was ever said between the two so everything seemed fine. Jealousy has a way of digging in deep and the best way to keep jealous feelings from growing is first to pray about them and then to talk and get it out in the open. Don't let this stuff get bigger than it should, or you'll be dealing with your own greedy monster someday. May God bless you today.